Hello guys, it's me. I'm Nafid Salama. Today I will show you how to perform one touch provisioning on Aruba OS version 10 gateway. And the concept of that one is to have minimal configuration. So on these devices, by default, the interface GE001 can or is the interface that will be used for one touch provisioning any other interface on these gateways can be used for zero touch provisioning so this is a one touch provisioning and then once the configuration is performed you will uh, have had added the uh, gateway to aruba central so you onboarded it you have assigned a license then only after that you will perform the gateway configuration in Aruba Central, like adding it to um, a group, configure WLAN, with, which is WLAN that is tunneling from the AP and so on and so forth. So that's the gateway and um, the uh, setup script, as, as you can see. Now to perform uh, one touch provisioning, we need to select static, activate, you can just type static if you would like so you can type static and then and then we start so the controller vlan as we have seen in the uh, topology is one in this case one one two one and um, it's on ge as we say zero slash zero slash one and we're going to configure that one as a trunk um, the native vlan will be one one two zero and we'll go static IP, in this case will be 172.16. Of course, your IP might be different or might be the same. It depends on your infrastructure. Not 100. And then subnet mask, default gateway. And DNS. No IBB6. I would like to configure spam, to disable span tree, and uh, there is no dynamic uh, port channel. And if we're happy with the setup, then we're going to say yes. So if everything worked as expected, then we should see the setup script now within a few seconds should start up and build the configuration. Once that starts, we're going to double check when uh, this comes back online and um, you can clearly see and then that will take about 10 minutes around that uh, time and we will come back and check. When the gateway is configured, i.e. after the initial setup, um, the default username will be branch support. The default password will be the MAC address of that device. Uh, password would be the MAC address. Now we can see show IP interface brief. This is the IP that we have signed. So we looked into central account. Now from the global device uh, view, you click on the gateway you see there's no gate there are no gateways here but that's absolutely fine the gateway has been assigned a license but we will need to perform certain tasks so you will go to organization and you go to groups so here there's a one gateway group and i'd like to show you how to create a group anyway so let's delete this one we don't need it and we will add another one. The group, let's call it Campus Gateway. And the type, it will only contain gateways. It's not template, it's a user interface group. It is version 10 and we will go for mobility. Next, we would like to add that group. Once we're happy with the group, we can look at the list of devices. Now, we might see that gateway listed here, or we might not see it listed here. But unprovisioned, is, this is not the gateway we're looking for. 
if you look at all devices we can see also not what we're looking for if that is the case you go back in the groups and from the network structure you can see device pre-provisioning these devices have already been added to the account you should see it listed here so that's the gateway that's a mac and that's a serial number you can click on that gateway and click on the move item select the group from the list the one we have just created and notice the group settings it is um, os10 mobility as ui group once done we'll move that to the group so we are able to move it to the group now moving into the group um, then we'll start performing certain tasks on the group itself so we will perform some tasks at the group level and we'll perform some tasks at the device level so what we've done we've done one touch provisioning for that gateway um, and then we went to Aruba Central, created the group, and then we mapped the device to that specific group. You could, of course, perform some settings on the group before you add the device to that group. That is also a possibility. To get to the group settings, you have two ways. You can go from here, or you can click on the device or on the group list. And at the end, you can see this is settings at the group. So you go down here click into to go to settings that will take you straight to the guided setup now that is or oh, these are a group of setups that you will perform at the group level so say for example if you add any gateway in the future it will pick up these settings we're going to start some settings from the group and then once we finish the first part of the settings we will do it then we will perform other settings on the device level itself We are beginning now. So begin. And the first thing you're going to do, you need to select the model. Our model is 7005, so we're going to select that. And it's going to ask you, auto cluster, we leave it as is, a group base. We will, in another video, we will talk about the site base as well. So go next. And here you select the NTP server. Well, it's up to you to select whichever server. You can select a public one or a private or local one. You can. I'm going to select a public one. I'm going to go for the pool. Dot. NTP. Dot org. And I burst for the um, for that. And then we will because this is based in London, so we're going to say London. Scroll up a bit. You see it's listed here next next we will specify domain name it's up to you it's optional i will not touch it this time we will add um, dns next So we're gonna finish, continue. That will take us to a land settings. So there are multiple things you can do here. One of the things we would like to do to add a VLAN. You can add multiple VLANs or you can add the VLANs later if you like. So the VLAN that we need to configure in here, in our case, it's the management VLAN. Because, well, we had it as 112, so I'm gonna call it V1121. Um, MGMT the value for that VLAN is in our case 1121 in your case obviously might be different and once you've done with that you save it move next at this stage we leave the things as is and then we will finish the guided setup at the group level now there are multiple different ways to do things so that's been sorted and we go continue that is done now we are taken back to the group you can see we are on the campus gateway group 
and that's the device that we have added if you double check you go to the LAN and you can see the VLAN we have just added what we would like to do is to perform some tasks at the device level to do this we click on the list the fact in this group we only have one device um, the device will reboot once you push the configuration and move it to the group now the device might be seen down but that's fine it is rebooting we can still continue configuring settings at the device level we can always look at audit trail to see what settings that have been pushed and have they been successful or not gateway configuration updated look at this gateway configuration updated so if you click on the three dots we can see what we've done just now and then that will uh, will cause the gateway to reboot so we'll go back to devices underneath the group we go to the list click on the device you are at the device level right now you click on device you are at the configuration now we could go this way but i would like to go manual so we'd like to cancel this and we're going to say exit so we are exiting the guided setup for the mobility gateway device with that specific value the first thing we would like to configure is basically system ip now the system ip simply speaking is the settings that has to be configured for the gateway to respond and to pick up any changes without system ip that doesn't work so we would like to go again you can define system ip or you can select the vlan where the system ip is configured there's a chance that the vlan will not be listed it means that the gateway has not really been kind of the settings has not been picked up by uh, by central you can wait a few minutes uh, or you can refresh the page it might pick up the settings and you then you select the vlan that you would like to go for so there you go we have the vlan interface is visible and that's all good and nice let's change the host name and we're going to give it gateway whatever name say 12 and save settings we can go to advanced mode so click on advanced mode we would like to change the password here double check the actual controller and look at the name the name has changed as per what we've done thank you guys for listening to me on the one touch provisioning the next video is going to be how to integrate this um, gateway with our wireless solution in central to create a WLAN that is tunneling to that gateway till then take care and i see you soon thank you